Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Look hump who, day. Hump day. Look who I found. Hi, guys. Ah, so, got something to tell you guys. She did something. I did. What, I did. What did you do? Well, finally. <clears throat> sorry. It's like. It's early. It's early. I'm like. Um, Tune in my boys like the chickens do in the morning. Do re mi fa so la <laughs> um, Last night I cooked a good, good, good meal. And the best part about it is that I film it and it's going to be coming up Friday. Friday. On Friday? Friday. On um, Fire Up Friday. So you don't want to miss it. And it's. It was, it was good. It was something that, you know, I guess a, it, it was Mexican, but uh, it was fun. It was super, super fun. And he woke up alive, so I guess it was good. It didn't, did good. Kill, it didn't, it kill. didn't kill him, so. <laughs> no, no, but it was fun. No, it tasted so good, guys. It was amazing. She did amazing with the filming. <laughs> um, I'm not used to just filming somebody. You know, yeah. I, I'm used to like, Doing, doing it all filming myself so it was definitely a nice little change to sit there and just film somebody else and yeah. i mean i was i'm only going to be in this video maybe two minutes yeah you know kind of at the beginning and the end um it's pretty much the margarita show <laughs> ah let there to be light yay we was going down the uh, driveway it's really really dark with all the tree covering and uh it's early though so we always get good light right here at the end. At the end of the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, but it was a, it was a very, very exciting thing to it see. Was. We've been talking about it, but we've been so busy. We just haven't been able to get it done. And she was determined. I was determined, guys. Yesterday to make y'all a fired up Friday because we've been talking about it for a while and haven't been able to pull it off. And she literally worked all day yesterday, <laughs> then went to the store, drove all the way here. <laughs> And then filmed a Fired Up Friday last night. And for me, that's great. Because uh, I got some good groceries. I ate a lot. Yeah. A lot. So what did you cook? Um, I cooked some enchiladas. Some chicken enchiladas. Uh, you you hear, I, I threw a, a few tricks too there in my video. Like, you know. Mexican tricks, I guess, that they passed down from generations, or like my mom taught me, and it was some, um, I found this sauce the other day at Walmart, uh, it's poblano sauce, so it's like the big pepper, um, and <clears throat> it was kind of, it's green, but it was kind of creamy, so I'm like, mm, I'm gonna try that. And I had it there for a while, and I was like, okay, that's it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do some enchiladas. And I just got the rostisserie chicken because, like he said, you know, it was like I work all day and then having to go to the store and everything. Like, that. that's what I tried to do, and that's what I wanted to do for you guys, too. Like, you know, we all live busy lives, and of course, I'm still gonna show you some good 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 meals where i have some downtime and i have more time to prepare but this was good you know i got a rosisserie chicken and then of course i added my spice i added my toe touch touch touch, touch. touch. <laughs> and it, it turned out pretty good it's still early her english is warming <laughs> yes, up guys. <laughs> i only have a cup and a half of coffee not too yet not too yet <laughs> And the dog and the cat were on a whole nother level this morning. They were amped up. Yeah. Um, Eclipse, I went outside to go to the bathroom and Eclipse came in and jumped in her lap. Yeah. In the chair. Like yeah, wide like, open hey, hey, doing hey, 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 donuts. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. And then Ryder ran inside because I have been transitioning Ryder to outside. Yes. Uh, here this week. Um, he is starting to get to the point where he's starting to tear my furniture up with his little claws. So whenever you do that, and my recliners are like four months old, yeah. brand new, and he's just starting to destroy them, uh, it's time for him to go outside and to start doing his job. Oh yeah. Hunting uh, Mickey Mouse. Yep. 
Speaking of hunting Mickey Mouse, oh, oh Eclipse <laughs> apparently thinks she's a cat because she went and got a big old rat about that big <laughs> and brought it to the front door <laughs> to me <laughs> and was just looking out there and like, look what I did, Dad. <laughs> and I was like, well, good job. <laughs> so I had to go get the get a rat and bury it and all that other stuff because I don't want Eclipse sitting there eating a uh, rat. I don't want her to get some kind of disease. disease or something like that that she's supposed to have. But she did get that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, crazy. Uh, let me flip y'all around so you guys can see the view. There you go. That's what it looks like this morning. It is gorgeous. It is 55 degrees here this oh, morning. Yeah. Fall is definitely on its way. Yes. Um, yes, it is. So it's time for me to get to building. I'm actually going to uh, edit the video that's coming out today. I didn't get it done last night with us filming up a fire, fired up Friday and all of that. I did get everything downloaded. I got everything in the editing software and all that, which takes a lot of time because it was like three days of footage. So yeah. it's a ton of footage. It's going to be a beast of an edit. I'm going to start editing it this morning as soon as I get back to the cabin. Um, if the YouTube gods work out for me and everything and everything downloads like it's supposed to after I'm done, um, I'm going to try to get that video out today on Come On Homesteading. And it's a mixture of a bunch of stuff. It's pretty much uh, everything I showed y'all yesterday uh, and then some. So... I think it's going to be a pretty good edit. I never know until I start editing, yeah. you know, and start seeing all the footage that I got. But I think it's going to be good. Oh, it's a going lot to be of good. A, a lot of exciting things happen. Um, I did mill yesterday, guys. He sent um, me a picture. You the, don't want to miss the video. <laughs> for the first time <laughs> ever, I milled. And it was also the first lumber made on Come On Mountain in about 50 years. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, yes. You know, the cabin itself was built off of the land. And so for me to start making my own lumber and stuff like that and, and do the buildings that I'm doing around the property mm -hmm. off the land uh, to keep that legacy going, I think to me that's priceless. I know I have a lot of people tell me, I'll oh, tear it down, start over, it'd be easier and all this other stuff. Um, it's not really about easy, it's about principle. I would say um, I really want to keep that legacy going to where I restore that cabin put my own twist on it and do it all off the land as much as possible so that's the goal and it was very satisfying cutting uh, cutting up some wood yesterday it, it really was I got a lot to learn a lot to learn be nice be nice in the comments be nice be kind be positive be, kind. be positive yeah <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy. It's a little yeah. smiley face thing. But uh, got a lot more milling to come. Um, I am going to get this video edited today. And then as you can see behind me, I have augers and tripods, laser tripods and stuff. Uh, bigger auger bit. Um, that is for the pump house. And also I got a second auger. And that is for Country Road Cure. Um, I'm going to edit today, do a little back end stuff, and then I'm going to take this over to the 41.36, drop it off with Anthony, and also I'm taking uh, my paint sprayer over there as well, and I'm going to bring back the welder to extend the sawmill, and I'm also going to pick up a concrete mixer to mix the concrete for the holes and stuff for the post for the pump house and tomorrow I'm going to start building the pump house <gasps> yes exciting. very exciting and Margarita's coming over this weekend I am and she is going to help me build the pump house and she also wants to mill some wood I do she wants to learn I do yeah he sent me a picture yesterday of his final product i was very impressed yep. for, for someone that has never done it i was very 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 impressed that's why i'm telling you you don't want to miss it and um 
the first thing I said, I was like, I want to do it. <laughs> yeah, definitely going to teach her. I'm probably going to have to cut her, cut her around as like a stool so she can reach the adjustments <laughs> <laughs> because the adjustments is pretty tall. Oh, I really? mean, it's above my head. Oh, yeah. I don't need you know what I mean? It's it's up here, so there's no way she's reaching that. <laughs> so she's gonna have to get up on her little stool, <laughs> adjust her height, <laughs> and then she's gonna have to drop down off of her stool, and then push it on through the log. Um, I do have a very good friend, very very good friend, close friend, um, my old neighbor there in Florida, and uh, he has a, a wood miser, I believe it is the orange ones. A really nice one, one of the portable ones on a trailer and stuff. I think it, it can cut up to 22 foot or something like that. And uh, I've seen him do the milling and stuff next door and stuff. And I, the, the little bit I know is from him. And uh, I actually called him yesterday, sent him some pictures and stuff. And told him how much boards I got out of the, the logs and all of that. And he said that I did pretty good. Um, he definitely gave me a, a bunch of good tips and stuff. He's a part of a bunch of forums and different chat groups and stuff with the uh, wood misers and all that. And I did find out too that pine doesn't shrink as much as like hardwoods and stuff like that. He said you could pretty much build with pine green, um, especially for something like a pump house, which was good to know. Um, those logs have been setting for about four months, but they still are. They still got some water in them for sure. But uh, I just wanted to ask him, like, what do I need to do as far as uh, building wise? And he said I'd be fine with the pine. And uh, he also let me know that anytime I had any questions or anything like that, I could always call. So it is very awesome that I got somebody with a lot of knowledge on it um, a phone call away. Because I can kind of message him, I can video chat him if I need to and kind of show him what's going on. Um, he definitely gave me quite a few little tips and tricks. One of the things was he said that uh, that gets things gumped up and stuff really bad is all of the sawdust that's on top of the boards. He said clean your boards as you do it. So I'm going to, um, when I go drop all this stuff off later on today, I'm going to get one of those... Uh, brushes like that you sweep things off with and stuff mm -hmm. that way every time I make a cut I can kind of clean it off whenever I before I make my next cut he said it goes a long ways with your blades and just stuff getting gumped up stuff like that so that's a nice little pro tip that I did not know um, and I talked to him for about 30 40 minutes yesterday he sent me a picture of a whole deck and porch and roof that he just milled for his friend um, that's moving to Tennessee and needing to sell his house. They wanted to up, upgrade it. So he made every bit of wood for that and it is gorgeous. And I mean, it's gorgeous. And uh, he said something that I definitely feel. He said it's very therapeutic, you know, to, mm -hmm. to do it, to make the wood and stuff like that. It's hard work, of course it's hard work, but uh, you really do get something out of it. And I felt that when I made my first cut. Yeah. You know, my first cut, I was just like, oh, this is amazing. I'm <laughs> over here. I'm over here making wood. Yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about learning. I, I think my biggest challenge is going to be learning how to measure the rounds and stuff and then see exactly how much wood I can get out of each piece, you know, because I had a little bit of waste yesterday and stuff. I cut one piece a little wrong. So, um, that I felt like I could have probably got a little bit more out of if I would have did one or two more cuts. So stuff like that is stuff that I got to learn. But that's the fun thing about it. Yeah. I have time to learn, you, you know, and I'm learning a new, a new skill, a new trade, and maybe one day it'll be something that I can make some money doing as well. So I'm looking forward to it. I definitely got the right trees, the right stuff there at the cabin to do it. Um, I am saving money right now to buy my own sawmill. Because I would like a sawmill full time on the homestead. I think it's an invaluable tool, um, especially with all the building and the Airbnbs and stuff in the future, and fencing and you know animal structures and stuff like that that I got to build to be able to just go out there and mill mill it all right there uh, on the property. Mm -hmm. and I, I think would be a game changer. So I have been looking at them. Um, I mean, I would love to have one of those wood misers. Don't get me wrong. But they're like, to get one that can do like 20 foot and all that, they're like 20 grand. And uh, 
And he got that kind of dollars. So <laughs> I probably will not be getting a wood miser right off. Maybe one day if it starts making me some money, then I can start saving, move up to one of those portable ones like that so I could actually go to different people's homesteads and stuff like that and mill stuff on the spot for them. But uh, I'm thinking like a wood miser or something like that. Um, they're reasonably priced. They're still not cheap. They're about eight grand. Um, but if I save my pennies and uh, be smart about it, I think that uh, I can get there and get one on the property. I'd like to build a whole shop and all that other stuff um, to be able to put it up underneath. That way it stays uh, in pristine condition for a while. But we're going to have to get off here. I've been rambling about sawing. See, I'm all excited about it. And she's over here like, I got to go to work. <laughs> yeah, I got to go to work. Hey, don't miss the live today. Don't yes. forget, Wednesday night. Yes, Wednesday night. Are you going to be on the live tonight? Yes, I will try. Okay, she will be split screen with me like this. Oh. <laughs> we always have oh. lots of fun, there huh? It. Oh, it looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she, she's got her kids tonight. Um, so we'll be split screening. Yeah. Every other Wednesday, she'll be at the cabin doing mm -hmm. the live with me. So. On the off days that she's not at the cabin, she'll be split screen from her apartment yeah. there in the big city. <laughs> in the big city. <laughs> in the big city. <laughs> it's a big city to me. Well, yeah. Oh, I just noticed there's a whole top of a tree broke out right there waiting to fall on somebody. Old widow maker right next oh, to me. Oh, goodness See it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. I wonder when that happened. Yeah. But I hope everybody has an amazing hump day. Yes. guys um like i said i'm gonna do everything i can to get that video out today on uh come on homesteading if it's not out by three or four o'clock it probably won't come out until tomorrow i'm gonna be honest with you with me going live tonight it's not good on the algorithm for me to put a video up like right before i go live it's just not good um that's all gonna depend on how long it takes to upload it um but i'm gonna give it everything i got if not then it'll be tomorrow but i am working on it um it will definitely be done today one way or another whether it's scheduled to go out tomorrow or today so around three o'clock be looking for it if it hasn't came out at three o'clock today normally my my cutoff time is six o'clock but mm -hmm. on wednesdays being that i go live at seven o'clock it really doesn't make sense to put it out that late so we'll see i'm i'm gonna give it a heck but uh Last night, uh, hanging out with Margarita and uh, filming her cook those amazing enchiladas for Fired Up Friday was the priority of the evening. Yeah, so it was good. We, I know you've been asking, so we. Yeah. I really. He was like, "We can just cook." I'm like, "No, we're filming." <laughs> yeah, she was tired and stuff, but she's like, "No, we're doing it. We've been yeah. talking about doing it for a while, and we're gonna make it happen tonight." Because we, we always get so busy whenever we're yeah. out here. It's, and I mean, we get tired. Like, I yeah. get so tired. So, yeah. so tired. So, you know, it, at the end, once you sit down, it's like, pfft, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> After a long day, so. That's when her goal yesterday was, I ain't setting, I ain't doing nothing. We're going straight in and we're getting straight to work. Yeah. And I was like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do this, do that. Yeah, she was running me. She was running me. I ain't going to lie to you guys. Well, that's the kitchen okay. is my castle. Yeah. They, <laughs> she made it do what it do, boo boo. She made it do what it do. And he did pretty good. He stayed out of my way, which. I did. I don't know if you, you're that way. When someone is cooking, you're like, I'm the same way. So I'm like always looking. So why are you doing And I question like I know better, you know, but. Um, yeah, he's like, what are you? I'm like, no, you know, don't ask questions. Just look. Just look. Look pretty. Yeah. Smile and look pretty and feel me. <laughs> Smile and look pretty. <laughs> yes. And he did pretty good. He did because he is also an amazing cook. So, you know, he, you know, he wants to see and everything. But he only gave his opinion one or twice. Then I was like, just wait. I was just asking questions. <laughs> and she was just like, wait. And I was just like, I'm just trying to figure out what's happening. I want, I wanted to surprise him. Yeah, so. she did good. It, it was really good. And I got a bunch more at the cabin. So I'll be eating it for lunch and dinner tonight. Oh, and I made some Mexican rice too. Yes. I ate like four or five of them last night. <laughs> and I mean, I like cleaned the whole plate. So. Yeah, he did. She, she had to cook two pans. I did. <laughs> so. I did. So, 
But it was a good time. But we really do got to get off here so she can get to work. Yes. I hope everybody has an extremely, extremely productive hump day. And make sure that you join us for the live tonight. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be a good one. Oh, yes. And uh, look forward to seeing y'all again then. Me and too. Till we see each other again, guys. Hey, come on. Keep it real.